Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to back up your old MacBook to a newer MacBook. That could be an old MacBook to a MacBook like this, or a MacBook Pro, or any Mac really. As long as you have the same amount of storage or more in the new MacBook, you should be fine. Now, this method is going to use Time Machine, and in particular, I'm using a time capsule, but I wanna show you also how to use a hard drive if maybe you don't have a time capsule. And for those of you that don't know what a time capsule is, it's an Apple Airport Extreme router with a hard drive built in that allows you to do backups wirelessly. Now, what you need to know is up here is the little Time Machine or Time Capsule icon. If you already have it configured, you need to make sure it's recently backed up. And you can see here, the last time it was backed up is March 17th, 2015, but it's actually April 16th, 2015. So we wanna take what's on here that includes all photos, videos, all saved documents, everything in iTunes, everything on your computer will move from this device to the newer device. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Now, the first thing we need to know is actually our hard drive size, and you can do that by going into Finder, and there's a couple different ways. Let me show you probably the most, or most efficient way is to go to Finder or go to the Apple and then About This Mac, go to System Report, once you're in system report on the side here, we can just scroll down until we find our drives. Now there's a bunch of different things here and this could be confusing. You can go all the way down to network. We're going to avoid all of that. And what we want to do is go to our hardware RAID, which we don't have. If you have a RAID set up, you'll know that. We don't have a SCSI drive, which is what this is, but we do have a SATA drive and it pops up. And here you can see the actual size. It says capacity. This is just the type. This is a Plexter solid state drive. Capacity is 256 gigabytes. The new Mac is actually a 256 gigabyte Mac as well. So we're all set there. Now, obviously, if you have a 256 gig hard drive, you'll need something that size or bigger in order to back it up. We'll close this out. In order to back up, you'll need to find Time Machine and set that up. If you already have it set up, you can skip this part, but let me show you how to do that. I've connected a USB hard drive, as you might have already seen, and it needs to be of sufficient capacity, like I mentioned before. The next thing we'll need to do is go to System Preferences, and if that's not down here, we can go to the Finder, we can go to Applications, and find System Preferences. Now, if you're not seeing it here, you can search for it, or you can use this little search box here as well to find it. But go into System Preferences, that'll open up, and we'll see Time Machine. Once you've located Time Machine, click on it, and here we have it turned on. And this will allow you to select the disk you're going to use for your Time Machine. In this case, I have it hooked up to my airport time capsule, but all you'll need to do is flick this on, hit Select Disk, and select the disk. And this is the one that's connected. We hit use disk. We can also choose to encrypt it, which will also secure the data. If you don't know what that is, you probably should avoid that until you do learn what it is. And maybe we can do a different video on that at another time. But go ahead and turn that on, select the disk you want, and the backup will start out automatically. Now, my backup hasn't started automatically, and I know that because this little icon doesn't have multiple arrows right here. So if I click on this, I can start it right now by hitting backup now. Now, once this is backed up, we'll need to come back to our new device. When your backup's completed, which probably took quite a while, you'll need to move to your new MacBook. So let's turn it on. This is the first time I've actually turned this device on so I could show you step-by-step step how to do this. So it may take a moment to boot up for the first time. On a side note, the original MacBook you backed up could have taken quite some time. Now this is a 2015 MacBook, and the first thing you want to do is use English for your main language or select whatever language you speak, and then click this arrow. Again, select the country you're in, and then select your keyboard. The next part is to select the Wi-Fi router. Or if you don't have that, you can skip this, but most likely you'll need to use this. I selected my network, put in my password, and then hit continue. It will take a moment to connect, so we'll be patient here and wait just a moment. 
Now this is the part where we actually select our information from the previous Mac. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. Now I'm showing you the hard drive backup method. You could also do this with an ethernet cable, but since the new MacBooks don't have a built-in ethernet cable, or they don't even have a cable to allow you to connect a USB drive without a separate adapter, which you'll want to get by the way, you'll need to actually select Either don't transfer my information now. If you want to select it as a new PC, you can transfer it later. But in this case, we want to transfer from a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or Startup Disk. You can even transfer from a Windows PC, but that's a whole nother video. Click Continue. It wants me to connect my AC adapter, so I'll do that. I'll hit Continue. It knows that I have an airport time capsule, but if I had a hard drive, it would show this as well. So we want to hit Continue. and it wants my password for my time capsule. Now, if you have a hard drive, it won't necessarily ask you this. Now it says some backups cannot be open. Now, because I'm recording this concurrently with what I'm doing as far as the backup, it's going to take me a moment, but as you can see, I'll hit okay. And it says, this is actually the one I wanna use. So I'm going to wait for the other one to finish its backup and then I'll come back and connect and continue. But if you have a hard drive connected, you'll see your backups here. If you have a time capsule, you'll see them here as well. As you can see, my MacBook Pro is ready to go, but I don't want to restore from that. And all you need to do at this point is select the backup that you want and then click continue. This will take probably quite some time. It could take even a couple hours. But once you do this, you'll be ready to go. Everything will boot up. You'll set up your Mac for the first time with a couple different passwords, and then you'll be able to use it just like you had on your older Mac, but with the new hardware. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.